hello thanks for tuning in this is delight 41 here I'm coming at you again with another new video so I came home from work today and decided that I will cook bone-in pork chops for the family um, I am on a ketogenic diet so therefore I can't bread these pork chops um, while on a ketogenic lifestyle so I've taken olive oil and rubbed them all over the pork chops and then I use a seasoning um, to sprinkle on the pork chops. The seasoning I use is McCormick's Grill Mates Smoke House Maple Seasoning. Here's a picture of it. So I am going to air crisp these pork chops. So let's go over here and power on the Ninja Foodie. Make sure we close the lid. And we I'm going to select Air Crisp. Um, is that 390? I think I'm going to take the temperature down to 375. And the time I'm going to put at, let's start with 12 minutes. You know, pork cooks pretty fast. So we're going to do it 12. Um, and check it and then if it's not done I'm gonna take it up three more minutes for a total of 15 minutes of course check it and then after that if it's not done then we'll go um, up to 20 minutes again I told you you know I'm just kind of winging it when it comes to cooking some of these things um, so let's start with the 12 minutes at air crisp at 370 degrees and see what happens okay I've Again, it's on air crisp, and if you notice, when it's on air crisp, you'll see the light on the right side lit up with the little waves. If I was pressure cooking the pork chops, then you would see this function right here. It looks like steam and pressure is coming out of it. All right, stay tuned for the results. Okay, I've decided to come back. The pork chops are still cooking. I still have it set at 12 minutes, and I'm going to start there first but sometimes I just forget about this book I need to look at it more often but if you look at the book that came with the Ninja Foodie you'll see if you go to the Air Crisp cooking chart it'll have pork chops right here and depending on how thick they are um, and if the if it's a bone in or boneless or whatever it'll tell you pretty much that you should brush it with oil at 375 degrees for 15 to 17 minutes so this book does come in handy and I guess if I had started with the book I would wouldn't have to guess about how long to cook it but I was right on the 375 degree part so that was kind of cool just going off the top of my head but um, again stay tuned I'm still gonna leave it at 12 and then check it and then see how it is for me um, of course it has to be fully cooked because nobody wants to eat raw pork or end up sick. But again, just stay tuned and um, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm back and this, or these are the results after 12 minutes. I flipped this over already and it needs to be cooked some more. Um, so this side got cooked, it looks alright, but... I don't think it's, it's definitely not finished cooking. So I think I'm going to add another 8 minutes to bring the total time to 20 minutes cooked. Because I just want to be safe and not get any kind of sickness from eating any raw pork. And I know if 20 minutes it should be cooked by then. And I'd rather slightly overcook it than undercook it in any kind of way. Alright, so I'm going to add another 8 eight minutes at 375 and put the lid down and again go back to air crisp 375 eight minutes start and the additional eight minutes will bring the total cooking time to 20 minutes at 375 degrees okay stay tuned Okay, do like for one back here, and the uh, pork chops have finished cooking in the Ninja Foodie. And again, this was a total of 20 minutes at 375 
degrees um, and so they appear to be done like I like them so I should not suffer any foodborne illnesses um, from undercooking the pork chop so again this is um, bone in pork chop with just olive oil and some seasoning on them I mentioned the season earlier um, and I, again they're not battered because I'm following the ketogenic lifestyle and this is the way you sometimes have to eat on the ketogenic lifestyle good old pork chops yum yum um, basically I'm gonna go and cook a side item um, that I'll cook in the microwave some um, rice cauliflower and um, we will have dinner shortly thanks for joining me today this is delight 41 signing off I really appreciate you taking your time to tune into my videos okay I'll see you soon bye